Hi, I'm Erin Deal. I'm the elections reporter at the Red and Black, and I'm just here to talk about getting out there and voting this November. You can already vote. Early voting is open, and there's also other means to vote, such as absentee ballots and even voting on Election Day. There is the athens Clark County Election Board Office, which is on East Washington Street, which is open now until November 4th, as well as other locations across the city. There's also another voting location that's Tate Student Center on UGA's campus. That will be open from November 1st through the 3rd. Early voting ends on November 4th, so be sure to check the times on athens Clark County's website or on the Red and Black's stories on the elections page. On the ballot, there's a couple of names that you should know. For governor, there's the incumbent Brian Kemp, who's the Republican candidate, versus Stacey Abrams, who's the Democratic candidate. The two often debate over issues such as abortion and inflation, and their numbers are pretty much neck and neck in the polls right now. For the Senate, there's Reverend Raphael Warnock, who's the Democratic incumbent, versus Herschel Walker, who's the former UGA running back and small business owner. The two also debate often over religion and their views on pro-life versus pro-choice. On a local level, there's the incumbent Houston Gaines, who's running for state house representative again, versus Mocha Jasmine Johnson, who runs the Athens anti-discrimination movement, and she is the Democratic candidate. The two are often seen debating small businesses and voter security. In the Georgia State Senate race, incumbent Bill Cowsert is running against the Democratic candidate, Andrew Ferguson. Bill Cowsert has been in the Senate for 16 years and is the majority leader, while Andrew Ferguson works on the Democratic board within athens Clark County. The two are often seen debating over the redistricting plans within our city. There are also races for Secretary of State, Attorney General, Agricultural Commissioner, and Department of Labor Commissioner, and more. For more information, go to the Red and Blacks website.